Hello friends, welcome back to Learnit Guide Tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining you about Kubernetes networking concepts and how it helps for the communication and its types. Networking in any architecture or technology is very essential to understand if you want to deploy the applications over the network. And also, understanding the network how it works that will help you to troubleshoot if you have any network related issues. So we must know what is happening in the network and how all the connections are establishing for the communication over the network. So watch the video till the end. This is an another video from our Kubernetes tutorial series. Already we have uploaded more videos on Kubernetes. Refer those videos if you want to learn the Kubernetes from basics. Related links and documents are mentioned in the description below. If you didn't still subscribe to our channel, do subscribe now. For more updates and click nearby bell icon to get the notification immediately. Let's get started. This is a basic Kubernetes architecture where you have some worker nodes and the pods are running on it with couple of containers. So when you have these many components, how all these components are establishing its connection to make the application accessible over the network. So Kubernetes networking provides some solution to allow these components to communicate each other with some network concepts for more effective network communications which are container to container communication pod to pod communication of course this is one of the main thing that pod to pod communication we must know when we have more number of pod running on either on single node or on multiple nodes so that has two types that is intra node pod networking communications and inter node pod network communication the other one is pod to service communication and external to service communication. That is also having some four kind of types, cluster IP, node port, load balancer and ingress. So let's understand these types in detail. The first one is container to container communication. You may have one or more containers within a pod that will share the same host network. So pods will get its own IP address from your host network. So all container will share the same IP address, but it will work on different port. So communication between containers happens within the pod itself on different port. So this is how the container to container communication is happening. The second one is part to part communication. As I said earlier, each pod will get its own IP address from your local host network. Here there are two scenarios. The first one is inter node pod network. That is the communication between pods running on a single worker node. The second one is inter node pod network. That is the communication between pods running on different worker nodes. On the first case, each pod running on single worker node will have the communication by default. Again, this is because it shares the same host virtual network. All IP address of each pods will be different and assigned from your local network. This is how the intra node pod network communication is working. The second case is inter node pod network communication that is when your pod is running on multiple worker nodes. For this example, the pod one having two replicas, this is a replica one running on worker node one and replica two is running on worker node two. Similarly, pod two is also having two replicas. One is running on worker node one and the other one is running on worker node two. So here the pod is running between two worker nodes. The communication between these pods happening through the networking plugin we have installed that will create some route tables. So that will forward the traffic from any pod to any destination pods. For example, if the pod 1 replica 1 want to reach the pod 1 R2 that can redirect the traffic via this E0 of your pod to the worker node E0 through your virtual bridge network and through route tables it will redirect the traffic to the worker node then virtual bridge network then the actual pod so this is how the inter node pod network communication is happening the next one is service communication service is something like a load balancer that acts as a proxy to forward the traffic request to the target pods this can be achieved using these different types cluster ip node port load balancer ingress each type has its own function and purpose. 
The cluster IP is a default Kubernetes service used for internal communication within the cluster. And the node port is something like it will open the ports on each node and the traffic will be forwarded to the service and to the node port on the worker node. And load balancer service type as the name says it is a network level load balancer that forwards all external traffic to your service and to the target ports. And the last one is ingress. It acts as a router or you can say a controller to route traffic to service via a load balancer. And it is useful if you want to use the same IP address to expose multiple services. You can have one IP address to expose multiple services so I will explain you each Kubernetes services with examples in the next session because Kubernetes service itself a separate topic. Hope you have got an idea about Kubernetes networking concepts, how the containers and pods communication works. Keep practicing and have fun. We'll see you in the next session. Thanks for watching the video. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.